This shows the percent in extreme poverty in the world. 0%, 50%, and 100%. And each uprise here represents 10 years. Uh, here we are at 1900, and this is where we are today. Now, I'm going to start all the way back 200 years ago, the time of Napoleon, 1800. What was the percentage of extreme poverty in the world then? Staggering, 85%. Only a few was out of extreme poverty. And then came the Industrial Revolution. And did it improve? Hmm. Not much. 1850, it was just down here to 80%. And 1900, it came down to 70%. And then further on to 1950 here. This is when I was born, just before. I was two years old here. 55%. And we have to go all the way to 1970 to reach 50% the year when half the world population was out of extreme poverty and half of it was still in extreme poverty. And then, only in my adult life has it started to drop a little faster. And I stop here at 1990, when it was down to 35%. Now, this year is not the first time the United Nations put a target, a goal for extreme poverty. The former goal was to half the extreme poverty from 1990 up to 2015, where we are now. And many people at that time said, that's mad, that will never work. So it's very exciting for you now to learn, you know, where is the last estimate? Where is 2015? And the estimate is, oh, I have to put a special stick here. <laughs> because it, it, it's here, 2015. This is where we are now. Huh? And the estimate is 12. 12. Let me show you this fantastic trend here. You know? How it went down from 85% coming slowly down, a little faster down, and then down here was the goal achieved. Well, it's not easy to measure extreme poverty. There is an uncertainty. But there is no doubt that this trend is fast going down and that the last goal was indeed achieved. However, I'm a statistician and I know that just because you see a trend like that, that doesn't mean that it will continue in the same direction. It may level off like this because the last lap is often the toughest. But on the other hand, you can see that it's not impossible to achieve this new goal, to end uh, extreme poverty altogether. I'm going to show you where extreme poverty has been and how it has decreased. Uh, this is the world, and here are the population back in 1800 in each of the regions, in total one billion. Here is the yardstick of income. And I'm going to put down these people to show their incomes. First Europe, and they spread out here, and then Americas on top of that, then come Africa, and on top of it the most populous region, Asia, including Australia. And as I showed you before, almost all people there were living in extreme poverty on all regions in the world. Now, I'm going to show you what has happened. I start the world and look, with industrial revolution, the population grew here and the incomes expanded here, mainly because of increased income in Europe and America. And then in the 20th century, population continued to grow here and incomes increased even more here. And that changed the whole pattern of the world. It became a divided world. The worldview you grew up with, with the rich West here and with poor Africa and Asia here. But in the 1980s, the amazing growth of China and the other tiger economy in Asia and India, they start to get out of poverty, they close this gap, and they are coming over on this side, and the shape of the world changed again. And look now, Africa is following, I call them the lion economies of Africa. And here we are today in a completely new shape of the world. For those of you who still think about the world as the rich and the poor, I'm going to give you a new concept. I'm going to give you a new term, the middle. What 